Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Let's see what's making news. The United Nations Security Council has passed a resolution demanding an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. Here's Joe to explain. Those in favor of the draft resolution, please their, raise their hand. This is the moment the United Nations Security Council passed a resolution demanding an immediate ceasefire in Gaza and the immediate release of hostages that were taken by Hamas during the October 7 terrorist attack in Israel last year. It's now been almost six months since the attack, which Israel says killed 1,200 people and saw more than 200 hostages taken. Since then, Gaza health authorities say more than 32,000 Palestinians have been killed in Gaza, with tens of thousands more now facing famine. Many world leaders and humanitarian groups have been calling for a ceasefire so that Gazans can access aid. And the United Nations Security Council is trying to make that happen. It's a group within the UN made up of 15 countries that are supposed to work together to keep world peace. Members have proposed a ceasefire resolution a few times since the conflict began, but this is the first one that's been passed. So does that mean that the fighting will stop? Well, not necessarily. It's up to Israel and Hamas to make it happen, but many are hoping this will put pressure on both sides to find a way to move forward. Three new crew members have arrived on the International Space Station. NASA astronaut Tracy Dyson, Russian cosmonaut Oleg Novitsky and Belarusian Marina Vasilevskaya arrived overnight on board the Soyuz MS-25 spacecraft. And we are so grateful for everybody uh, that has helped us get to this point. We look forward to executing this mission together. There are now 10 people in total on board the ISS. The world's been a little more colourful than usual lately as millions of Hindus celebrate Holi. Here's Ren with more. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. It can only mean one thing. Happy Holi! Yep, over the past couple of days, millions of people have been celebrating Holi, the festival of colours. It's a huge Hindu festival and celebrates the love between Hindu god Krishna and his love interest Radha. It also marks the arrival of spring in India, Nepal and some other South Asian countries. A time of new life, love and... When we forget and forgive the past. So how does it all work? Well, the night before Holi, bonfires are lit to signify the triumph of good over evil. Then, once the sun rises, it's a sea of food, music and, of course, colour. Where people throw coloured powder, paint and water at each other in the street. While it's not exactly springtime here in Australia, lots of Hindus and people from other religions and cultures still join in on the fun. Yeah. It's just not Indians. We have, like, Australians as well celebrating and we have other communities, Nepalese, and it's, it's a brilliant thing, I think. Now it's time for some stories that are on a roll. <laughs> yep, on a roll. First up to Poland, where primary school students are decorating these huge Easter eggs. Unfortunately, they're not made out of chocolate, but they do look delicious. Some were decorated with traditional designs, while others took on a life of their own. <laughs> it's very beautiful to me. I feel it's very nice. Now to the UK, where London's biggest model train show is on a roll. And while you might think British trains and landscapes would be quite popular, many of the exhibits here are actually of American trains and models. The, the British models weren't that good. I'm ashamed to say it, but they were unreliable, poor quality, whereas the American ones were always so much better. And finally, meet Stumpy the Cherry Blossom and its anthropomorphic mascot. Stumpy has become a bit of a celebrity here in Washington in the US, becoming known as the tree that just won't give up, despite growing in less than ideal conditions. But sadly, this is the very last time Stumpy will blossom, because along with 100 other cherry blossoms at this park, it's getting removed as part of a renovation project. The good news is that in Stumpy's place, 277 more cherry blossoms will be planted as replacements. Well, I'm gonna roll on out of here, but I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <gasps>